tonight, two East Alabama hotels are now closed after investigators found unsafe conditions during an inspection. I'm Jack Royer. This happened in Oxford, where many people stay for the upcoming Talladega race. Tonight, CBS 42 News reporter Michael Clark is live outside one of those hotels. And Michael, the police presence still felt there tonight. Yeah, Jack, go ahead and take a look outside of these hotel rooms. You'll see there is police tape at the hotel property. This is the Budget and Express here in Oxford. And in front of the rooms, they also have a sign that reads condemned, all because of a variety of safety concerns inside. Almost halfway between Birmingham and Atlanta, signs for hotels and restaurants in Oxford aim to lure people here for a break. With the racetrack close, close by, uh, we, we have a lot of business travel with people coming through on, on I-20. City Fire Chief Gary Sparks says that's why it's so important that places to stay are inspected twice a year. It is our responsibility to make sure that when somebody comes into our city to stay uh, the night that, that, that they can feel safe and that the, uh, they, can, they can lay their head down and go to sleep and know that they're in a safe place. But investigators say conditions inside the Liberty Inn and Budget Inn Express drew cause for concern. Found numerous fire code violations, wiring that was bad, wiring that had not been done to, to code, uh, smoke detectors that did not work or that were, were not existent. The two owners were charged with several counts of reckless endangerment and duty of hotel owner to maintain. The businesses are shut down while owners have 30 days to respond with an improvement plan. And if it isn't followed, city council could condemn the building. We know how important the tax dollars are to our community, and it's our job to make sure everybody's safe. Now, the owner of the Budget Inn Express here on Barry Street was also charged with promoting and soliciting prostitution. Owners of both hotels were arrested but have since bonded out. We were unable to reach either of the owners or their attorneys for a comment tonight. For now, reporting live in Oxford, Michael Clark, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.